Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, uh, as you can see, the camera is in a bit uh, is in a bit of a different angle uh, today. It's because you used to have the camera over here, so you had a more side view. But uh, I rather want to do this instead of doing this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, hey, cooler. Hey, whoa, whoa. <gasps> it's a miracle! You can stand in the air! But uh, no, it's not. It's because of these uh, covers right here. When you're standing down here, it doesn't look... Uh, if you didn't know, you, you can't see it. Because I've gotten this system to, uh, to up and running. So, we can go in here. I can say only crafting. All of this we can craft now. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot. We've got tons of crafts down here, and we have t told it that um, uh, you can craft one sand with one cobblestone in the uh, polarizer, and also certain quartz dust with certain quartz, and nether quartz dust with nether quartz. And over here, we are telling it that uh, hey, uh, put a uh, put a process assembly, uh, basic process assembly down here, and you will get an ME basic assembly. And the advanced, of course. And also, with one sand, you get one piece of glass in the furnace. And as you can see, my um, uh, nether chest is gone. There's a, there's a cover there, as you can see. And the torch is shining through, goddammit. But down here, we have set up this. Underneath here, we have a diamond, uh, a diamond pipe that sorts out the uh, all the items. Sorry about that. Uh, so all the ores go over to these guys over here. P getting processed, getting smelted, and then up into the interface, which automatically pumps it directly into our crafting computer. The cool thing about ME, uh, uh, yeah, this uh, applied and logistics systems here, is that no matter what block you connect to, they all work together in the same network. So yeah, you can uh, you can even go as far as to say that uh, uh, we're gonna have another uh, screen down here, and yeah, um, I can uh, put a screen in here, uh, and uh, instead of this chest with all of these items in, I can just have a screen here. Uh, yeah, and we just have to connect it up to one of these guys right here, and it would work. It's so goddamn cool. <laughs> but you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, uh, transfer power through these lines only through uh, their own. Shut up. Only through their own system. Yeah. But as you see, it's getting pulled out as soon as it comes in. And we are getting it here, like... Look at that, look at how many... Whoa! We got copper ingots, we got aluminum bars, aluminum, gold, iron, lead, silver, fermius ore, shiny metals. We got some industrial craft 2 ingots here, and some industrial craft 2 uh, tin. Yeah, I think... Yeah, this is this, uh, this is thermal expansion tin. Oh well. Okay. Oh, let's go and uh, let's go and have a look at our. Uh, ow, ow, ow! This one is soon be uh, soon ready to get harvested. So yeah, as soon as this one is fully up and running, we're gonna harvest that one. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I got thirty six levels. I just. Uh, Whoa. It has expanded more, hasn't it? I think it has. Oh, this is so lovely. I love this. I love uh, to love this shade of green. This one is a bit too dark and dull, I think. And I like these goddamn magnificently huge trees. I mean, seriously, damn. Oh, well. Oh, yeah! I heard that uh, we had an explosion, so we got ourselves uh, some more of these guys here. It's pretty cool that uh, they actually fall down, but uh, 
I think in the new uh, updates of um, Ars Magica, yeah, this is Ars Magica. In the new updates of Ars Magica uh, uh, for the uh, 1.7.10 of Minecraft, we are actually going to see them physically <laughs> fall down. Here you can only hear the explosion and then they're there. If you're lucky enough to see it, you will see uh, like an explosion type deal and then you will have a uh, stone there. What the heck? What is the, is the stones over here? Yeah, there is. Ha ha ha. Lol. Apparently uh, another one decided to go down here and destroy all my this beautiful place right here. God damn it. Yeah, this is my setup for my fireworks uh, show, which I'm thinking of doing every year now. Every uh, every uh, uh, New Year's Day, uh, I'm going to be doing a live stream, and I'm going to be setting off this guy right here. It's just a button you click, and then I got a huge row of... Uh, um, yeah, dispensers up here that fires up the fireworks. And this thing here is working magnificently, except for the red caps. They don't, they don't come up and around and down. I don't know why. You can hear them, but they don't uh, fall down here. Nope. Got a skeleton. Cool. I've uh, even uh, tweaked the system a little bit, so... That I get golden axes. You never know, you might get one with a cool enchantment on or something like that. I love this system, I really do. Cool. Okay. So what to do today? Well, actually, I <laughs> I've promised that uh, we were gonna set up a Danish flag. I had a Danish flag here once. I'm gonna set up a Danish flag, but instead of making a flagpole up with a Danish flag, I'm mm -hmm. actually going to suspend it in here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the Danish flag, but suspended in between these two pillars right here. So yeah, the goal today is to get a butt ton of wool. <laughs> Let's see. Um, w O O L. We got 16 pieces of wool. That ain't gonna cut it. Uh, SH for shears. Or maybe that's not shears. What do I have it on me? No, I don't have it on me. Okay, we gotta make some shears. SH. There we go. I thought there was a name like that. Bingo! We got a couple of shears. But, we're not gonna stop here. We are actually going to enchant these shears, if we can, actually. I hope that we can. We can't. Fuck! Actually, they can't be enchanted another way. Apparently, vanilla Minecraft uh, cannot enchant them. But, uh, I do believe that... Uh, I think it's either with Ars Magica uh, or Farmcraft or something else. Combining those two, I'm not quite sure. But, I have seen shears that have... Um, uh, fortune on them, so you get more wool per cut. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. We got a chicken with a turtle on its head. Yeah, what, what the hell? Oh, by the way, having sheep like this domesticated gives you a higher percent chance. Of more wool. So what happens if I shear this guy? Oh my god, he's butt ass naked. We got two guys here amongst the uh, sheep here, amongst the female sheep here that's butt ass naked. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so mean. Come on. Keep your fill. That's good shit. There we go. Any more sheep that wanna eat? Hey, we 
вот этот лимон. Okay, how much have we got so far? Oh, it, ain't, it ain't much. We need a lot, lot more. You know what? I suddenly got an idea. Yep. I can make 64 out of this bad boy right here. I don't know, can we use this as a crafting table as well? Nope, we can't. We cannot use it as a crafting table, we can use this one as a crafting table. Wham! Okay. 64 of these, these up here. Got 16 of these. Okay then, um, uh, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? It's got, I want it to look legit. Fence. 16 pieces of fence. Uh, got 17 roses. Whoops. Which we can make into a button of dye, so that should be enough. Okay! And uh, of course, this goes out to uh, my friend. Uh, yeah, now I forgot your name. God damn it. Here, let me just uh, check. I'm so sorry that I forgot your name. I promised you that, uh, that I would do the shout out for you and I completely screwed up by forgetting your name. Uh, let me see here. My videos. I think. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, Casper Johansson. That's, that's, that's your name, Casper Hansen. And we're gonna have your name right up, uh, right up on the minimap there, bam, as we are building this son of a bitch. Okay, let's see, let's see. Cool. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, let me just think here. Um, <laughs> would you know, I'm Danish. I'm so ashamed of myself that I had to figure how the fuck the Danish flag looks. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm such a bad citizen. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let me just. Actually, no, that's wrong. I'm already doing it wrong, aren't I? Yeah, I am. The flag has a white cross, not a white border. Good thing I got my shears on me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's okay, we can start off by doing the, uh, the cross thingy. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm debating if I should uh, have it uh, like the flag is hanging down. Mm. Hmm. 
Let's do it here. One, two, three. We're gonna have to take this one away. Yeah. Not bad. Yep. That's it. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one on there. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Yeah, actually, now this is beginning to look like something. Gonna go with these twenty four for now. You know what? I have an idea. We are going to uh, hear the Danish national anthem as we are building this. So yeah, for you who doesn't understand it, I'm sorry, but uh, I won't uh, change it to English lyrics. So here we go. Just, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Let the game load a little bit. Oh. I feel, I'm feeling really nostalgic right now. Oh, listening to the Danish anthem. It's pretty goddamn cool. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Jasper. Oh, Casper, sorry, Casper. <laughs> oh. No, I forgot it again. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, well. On with the shoe. Okay, but before we leave, I think we're going to have to do some lightning. We're going to do some fancy lightning with... Uh, Let us see what can we do. We could go do it with glowstone, but nah, they're not fancy enough. Um, lights, uh, inverted light gray lamp. Let's see here. We got the tons of cool stuff here. Light gray. Ah, I think we're gonna have to type in lamp instead. There we go. This one. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is two, uh, three, four. Five. Right, yeah. Uh, let's go with six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. These are inverted, so they are always on. I want to go with one. Let's see here. 
two, three on that side. No. And three on that side. Nice. Or maybe just two on, two on each side and then two on top. It's good. It's good. Oh man, that is beautiful. Hallelujah. Okay. Now that, that took up most of our, <laughs> well not most, but half of our uh, episode, let's see, what can we, what can we do, what can we do, uh, what are you doing in that cool little lot, Cindy is up there, <laughs> okay, we got our crafting monitor, yeah, I set this one up too, um, oh, darn it, let me just do that. <sighs> you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. We are going to go. Yeah. I just think the easiest and the fastest way will be to go. Yeah. Like. Those of you who know already, th uh, already think you know what I am about to do with a frame and a book. Let's go and visit the quarry just quick and let's see how far down it has come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're a beast. Holy crap, this is a big hole now. Oh, god damn. I like that these uh, tentac tentacles, you know, yeah, strands are still hanging in the air like that. <laughs> oh my god. Still lots and lots of nice stuff here. But I'm actually going over to this little pond right over here. And it seems like for me, I don't need to place anything up other than the frame. And the book. Suck in some juices. And without further ado, wha bam! The book. Whoop. Doesn't matter. Ah. Apparently, a bird cannot fly. The Arcanum! Ba ba ba! Okay! Guides! Using the Arcanum tells you everything about the book and stuff like that. The Aris Magica UI. Uh, you just do that and you can uh, configure the UI. Your first spell, Oculus, Inscription Table, Crafting Altar. And it uh, will tell you exactly what you need. Then we can go down here. Mechanics. Burnout. Burnout is, uh, yeah, when you use your spells, uh, you get progressively fatigued, and the spell then costs more and more and more, the more fatigued you become. That's burnout. Uh, the different modes, yeah, uh, I will get into that as soon as we get some more things done. Magic level, the more you use a spell, the more uh, you become proficient in doing set spell, and uh, you will uh, ultimately gain levels, gain more magic, and the spell will also become less and less, cost less and less mana. Mana. Mana is the stuff that you uh, have now been imbued with, with making this uh, Arcanum here, and the more you uh, level up, the more mana you have. Meaning, it's like, 
uh, it's like exercising. The more you exercise, the more stamina you get. The same is it with magic spells. The more you use them, the more mana you will then get. And it's uh, because it's a game, it's like a leveling system. And we already know our... We, we got our... Uh, we got our Vintium... Whoa, sorry. We got our Vintium Dust. We got our... This one. We got some Ash. Purified. We got this. Uh, blue Topaz. Sunstone. And why we have these already now, this here, is because we've already found them in our world. The Vindium Dust I found for the quarry, the Sunstone we found in the Nether, and stuff like that. Keystone. A keystone is a uh, like a portal key, meaning you can open a portal with this keystone. And if another portal has the same exact keystone, you can teleport to it, meaning... You can have multiple portals out in the world, but you can, uh, and then you can only have, and then you can have one portal at home, and then you can have multiple keystones at home for the keystones out in the world. So yeah. Next we have uh, the flower, the arm flower, the blue orchid flower, the desert nova flower. The Oculus, and this is how the Oculus is built. A particular uh, emitter. I have no idea what this is. This is a new one for me. I'm gonna have to read in on that one. Tremor root. And a Vintium torch. Vintium torches are crafted in a uh, specific way and glow with roughly the same brightness as a standard torch. They are just a aesthetic achievement. Yeah, it's the same thing, but they glow with a blue glow. So that's actually pretty cool. Mana elementals. We have seen these guys out uh, in the wilderness. And you can rotate them. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> he shoots off a little bit of lightning. Water elemental. He does a uh, tangle effect on you. So you become slower. Yeah, that's about it. And as uh, you progress through this, uh, we also uh, gain new stuff. Oh, the poor little rabbit. Hmm. Yeah. I'm actually thinking of uh, making another, two other nether, nether tanks. Two other nether tanks and a pump. Because we're going to go around and pump up. All of these uh, small pools here, these pools here, because uh, this special water that's inside these pools can actually be used to power one of the, um, um, like, altar thingies. Uh, yeah, so we don't have to wait as much to let it uh, gain in automatically. So, we are going to go down here. Yoink. Oh, look at that. Look at that in the bottom. Look at that in the bottom. Oh, we got it. The red one is our um, burn uh, uh, burn counter, and the, uh, the blue one is our mana counter. And right now, my uh, as you can see, the little sun or the little moon dial down there, right now it says to the minimum. I'm not sure if I... Oh, no, not them. And that's that one. I'm pretty sure. There he is. C. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there, creeper? See you in hell. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, pressing C. This means uh, you can you can boost your spells, meaning that when you become proficient enough in a spell and it doesn't cost all that much, you can boost it up and it costs more, but it also gives more damage or more healing or depending what kind of spell it is you're using. Okay then, um, yes. We're gonna make the first couple of items needed for our set. 
start off this new, uh, yeah, new thingy. Cool. First, we're gonna need a couple of these here. Bam. Going into the book here. Let's read some up here. Let's see here. Oculus. Three of these, a glass, a blue topaz, and two pieces of coal. Okay, cool. Glass. Well, let's take these two and let's say, oh, sorry. Let's tell her to make. Hold on, to Begin. See, it's crafting. And you can say the tell up here that it's crafting the thing. And over here, polarizing uh, that to make that. Cool, huh? Okay, we got the glass. Let's put this one back up here. Now we need the uh, CO. Now we need the coal. We need two pieces of coal. And BLU glue. We don't have a blue topaz here, but we might have it downstairs. Fuck off. Well, as soon as we start beginning to use this room more and more, they will be, they'll be less. We only have one? That can... That sucks. And... Nope, we don't have any wood here. Or else I would... Well, we do have... We do have down here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We got tons and tons of this stuff here. Bam. Okay, let's place this somewhere where we can use it. Right there. Okay, that, that, and that. That, that, and that. And that. Give us the Oculus. New entry. This here is where, uh, as you can see, we got three uh, points already. This is your basic magic skill tree and stuff like that. It's somewhat like the uh, Pharmonomicon, but uh, yeah, you need this Oculus in order to progress through the skill trees and stuff like that. And we can see here, we can now learn projectile spell. We can also learn gravity or bounce, or we can go down here to physical damage. Let's go to physical damage. And Magic damage or fire damage? Well, who doesn't like a good fireball now and now and again? But I have used all mine in offensive. We could have also used in defensive or utilities. Meaning that, yeah, there's tons and tons of things you can do here. Okay, we got a new entry. And... When we get a new entry, it says it here. So now we got silver skills. Silver skills are skills uh, inside the Oculus uh, that cannot be obtained in normal ways. To unlock a silver skill, uh, the correct spell combination must be crafted. And the caster, uh, there are a few rules for silver skills uh, unlocked. And, uh, and then cast. There are a few rules for the skills skills uh, unlock combination that will make them somewhat easier to dissipate, uh, disappear. Okay. All parts required to unlock a silver skill will be in the same tree as the silver skill itself. Uh, all silver skills are required. Uh, required between two and four components and or modification to unlock. And stuff like that, yeah. Go down here. Spell parchment. Now I can make spell parchment. And spell parchment is also a thing we need to use. Inscription table. We need a spell parchment, a torch, a feather, and that. And that is easy as hell to make. Okay, we got the feather. Over here, we got the torch. Do we have 
three wooden half slabs? No, we don't. There you go. I know we took a little bit much, but oh, what the hell? And I know we also beginning to. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! We need. Sorry. We need the parchment first. We can make two parchment here. One, two. Parchment table legs. Writing quill, well, light and writing quill. Bam, new entry. Okay, so we have to go on to the side. Okay, okay, okay. Sheesh. And here we, uh, and here we can make our. Uh, uh, we can make our spell. We can say we want a projectile. We want physical damage, but we also want fire damage. So we're gonna call it. Gonna call it fireball. And you can just go out of it. It doesn't matter. It will remember it. But we need a book. We have yeah. We got three books here. Okay. Um. Apparently, we uh, apparently it needs to be a book and quill. Apparently. One, two, three. Just a normal book and quill. Where the fuck is that? Ah, you need an ink. You need an ink as well. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I didn't see. No. Uh, we don't have inks. Okay, I'm gonna do a little glitch. I'm gonna do a little glitch here. Hmm. Ah, uh, I thought I had. I thought I had a glitch where. Hmm. Uh, where did our books go? Oh, there, there. Okay, cool. Apparently, we don't have black dye. Do we have it down here? Nope, we don't. Ah, uh, well. Going to have to wait for, uh, with that for next episode, apparently. Yeah, going to have to wait with that. We already have 40 minute mark, so yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, catch on the flip side.